The Battle of Tinche Bay. While Bayer burned, King Henry pressed his advantage. Seizing key fortifications and buying the loyalty of powerful lords, Henry loosened his brother's grip over Normandy. At Tinchebray in 1106, brother would fight brother for final claim to their father's lands. So technically they're attacking themselves, right? No, but he's not. He's English now and he's... Yeah, but they're attacking themselves. You should watch the other videos. Okay, can I re-watch the bonus videos? Like how do I wanted to, but you guys told me to just click continue. Yeah, it's a civil war between the families between Determined between two to countries. Claim Normandy and capture his brother, Duke Robert. King Henry besieged the castle at Tinchebray. Imagine they're fighting to oh, sorry. The formidable stone castle was failing. Imagine like fighting each other when you could go and conquer the Vikings. The towering walls. The king devised a new plan to capture his brother. Okay. Henry would Holy force shit. Robert to defend his lands from attack by raising the villages of Martigny and Fren. So I'm running away. Raise villagers to draw. Oh, okay. Military tent. Now that's a tiny tent, brother. What are you raising there, ants? Help, Misty! Misty! To goad Robert out of his stronghold, Henry's men would burn the village to the ground. I don't know, don't kill my scout! Oh my god, gold! Mm. 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 Mm, give me that, give me that, give me that gold. Mm. Whoa! Oh, I need to burn all the buildings. I thought this was gonna become mine. Okay, torches do way more damage in single player, uh, confirmed. I wasn't sure for a second there earlier. I mean, I saw it at the gate, like a gate was taking so much damage. Okay, let's check here. I don't think that, like, a lot of people said the campaign is really bad. I don't mind it so far. Like, I think the missions are fast. Kind of to the point. I mean, maybe it gets worse, but so far I don't mind it. The of Martigny was destroyed, but still Robert did not emerge to face Henry outside the castle. Henry would have to raise the stakes. Next, he targeted the village of Fren. Of Fren? What's village of Henry received word that Robert had sent for a fresh army to aid in defending Request his aid. position at the castle. Ah. Uh, Henry had to eliminate the fuck is this? Forces. Before they oh, could knights. combine with the garrison. Do I want knights? Yeah, I want knights. Henry could buy reinforcements from nearby allies if he could procure the gold to pay them. I don't know. I kind of like this. You can also Henry buy sent stuff. Henry to his ally in men and received fresh reinforcements. That's fresh. Defeat the relief army. I'm, a, I'm about to relieve them of their duty. Check L. Easy, dude. Well, I can buy more stuff? Ten.
10 knights and 10 dismounted knights. Uh, buying shit. Incoming army. Henry had thwarted his brother's attempt. Get over here! The castle's defenses. Oh, bitch. Okay, let the two live. They'll tell the tales of how they got wrecked. Can I... Are these archers or are these longbows? You get an achievement if you buy only knights. Wait, how can I see the achievements? Wait, on Steam? I don't care about those. Is there any in-game achievements? On your Steam? I don't care about Steam. Why are you running? Does anyone do Steam achievements, by the way? I can say Steam achievements being cool if you've always done Steam achievements. But I've literally never cared about doing any Steam achievements for any game. I feel like, you know why I don't do Steam achievements? Because I feel like I would want to do them for every game, but I've started playing games on Steam way too late, so I'm like lacking too many achievements already. You know what I mean? I think that's why I don't care. Because I know there's some people I've seen this, like posts on Reddit where they do like 100% achievements for every game, and I think that's cool. But I'm like too far behind on that shit to even start it. At the hands of Henry's army, the village of Fren was in ruins. Hi, Fren. Hi, friends. Henry's provocations had paid off. Oh, shit. Robert finally emerged from the castle to face his brother in open battle. Monkass, that's a lot of army. Uh, uh, where do I want to fight? Like here? That's a lot of units. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 
Easy, baby! Knights are OP as hell. King Henry's tactic of luring Robert into the open had worked. Man, Robert, you're a moron. No wonder you lost. Henry captured his he got you baited. <laughs> and Normandy was his. He got you baited, dude. Imagine having your castle and getting baited to leave the castle and then you just lose. Robert, I bet you can't beat me outside. What'd you just say? Goes on and loses. Okay, which one? Okay, are these the bonus videos? Building a castle. Okay, do I just watch them all? Okay, did I watch this one? Is this the first video? I didn't watch any of them. Okay. Okay, let's go. At Guédelon in France, to understand how castles were constructed, they're building one from scratch using just the tools and materials of the medieval age. Oh, I heard about this. It's a 25-year project. The world's biggest archaeological I've heard about experiment. this. I watched the, I've actually watched the video on this. The most important defensive feature of any castle was the wall surrounding it. 25 year Castle project? Be incredibly thick in order to resist attack and absorb the impact of projectiles fired from trebuchets. The curtain wall was over 20 feet deep, interspersed with towers. Well, they don't have like the thousands of people castles, building them though. They were square. But while on crusade, European knights saw that eastern towers were round. They realized that eliminating corners not only made them stronger, but also provided a better view of the surrounding landscape. Mm. Completing the walls will take some 30,000 tons of sandstone. Transport costs in the Middle Ages were incredibly expensive. So having a good supply of local stone close to the castle was vital. To extract it from the quarry, First, a row of holes is hand drilled. Once all the holes are ready, I'm ready to put in the iron wedges and I'm ready to split it open by hitting very hard on each wedge with a big sledgehammer. Damn! The stone is split into usable blocks, then transported using horsepower and human effort. This treadwheel crane can lift up to half a ton. The walls are built like sandwiches. On the outside, you have facing walls built from better quality stones. And the inside, the rubble cores, they're built with softer stones and other offcuts from the quarry. And they're built up in layers with a very thick, coarse mortar. This ingenious method makes the walls better able to withstand hits from a trebuchet. Dude, whoever meant the trebuchet is a chap. Sandstone is too hard to be carved into intricate windows, vaults, and steps. Instead, softer, more expensive limestone is used. These sophisticated building techniques make castles the ultimate feats of medieval engineering. It's a testament to their construction that so many still stand today. Okay, that's cool. Let's watch that one. One weapon more than any other dominated warfare in the Norman period. The crossbow. Crossbow is like car on an automatic gear. Crossbows like this were the culmination of centuries of development. With limbs made of steel, they were incredibly powerful. But earlier Norman crossbows had limbs made of wood. Oof, would they snap? There was a limit to how powerful these wooden bows could be. So the idea Damn. that Norman crossbows were a powerful weapon is really a myth. Despite this, they were effective at medium range, 
And that was enough in battle. Drawing the bow repeatedly took a lot of strength. Thankfully, help was at hand. A crossbowman spanned his weapon with a device called a belt and claw. This gave him extra leverage, allowing him to use his back and legs to draw the string. Crossbowmen were vulnerable on a battlefield, so they carried large shields called pavises. So they could hunker down behind, load, pop up, shoot, and then duck back down again to reload. Crossbows were accurate, took less training, and used cheaper ammunition than the longbow. That's pretty cool. Most importantly, you could wait to take your shot, so they were perfect for siege situations. To protect crossbowmen when they were defending castles, they used specially built wooden galleries, called hoardings. But shooting down towards an approaching enemy presented its own problems. How to stop the bolt from falling off the crossbow before it could be shot? What they did is just place the thumb loosely on the top of the bolt, which is just enough with light pressure to hold it in place. <laughs> That's very cool. Around 1200, the Norman wooden crossbow was superseded by a new design, the composite bow. With limbs made from horn and sinew, they could be made more compact than a wooden bow. And they could deliver up to four times the punch. They were, however, more expensive. So whether on the battlefield or the castle rampart, simple wooden crossbows remained the main weapon of the day. Why is the, the protection for the crossbows wooden? Couldn't you just make it like stone? Like that that wood wall is like this thick. Can't a fucking bow penetrate that? Cost? Well yeah, but they're like they can build them within the walls. But I'm talking I'm not talking about the, I'm not talking about the crossbow. I'm talking about the wall that they're shooting through. It stops an arrow? I, mean, I actually don't know. Does this thick wall stops an arrow? Oh, okay. Then never mind. By 1100, the medieval knight was dressed from head to toe in mail. Is there mail a pause button is really for this? like a metal fabric. It moves and behaves like a cloth, but is actually made of hundreds and thousands of interlocking iron rings. It could turn and deflect a sword blade. As an armor, mail didn't work all by itself. It needed the addition of a padded coat. The coat absorbed the shock of the blow whilst the mail turned away the cut. Together, they formed an incredibly effective protection. The first stage in making mail was to create wire to the right thickness. To do this, it was pulled through a drawing plate, which had a series of ever smaller holes, until you got wire of the desired gauge. To make the rings, we wind the wire onto a mandrel. And then we take it off the mandrel and cut the rings. Damn, that's so a lot I've of work. Holy the shit. the overlapping ends of the ring, and I've pierced a hole through it. And now Nick has to put a rivet in it. The basic construction of mail would be a ratio of four to one. So each ring goes through four of its fellows. Here you can see I've made a set of five, which will then be joined to other sets of five to create a sheet of mail. Mail had to be tailored to a perfect fit. It had to be shaped for feet and legs, arms and hands, and of course the head. A skilled mail maker could make very precise shapes. How much does it weigh? That's what I want to know. Of course, for more complicated parts of the body, like elbows, we can actually tailor it in two different directions at the same time. Yeah. So if we fold this in half, we have an elbow. One of the main benefits of tailoring in mail was that it meant a knight didn't have to carry a single ring of extra weight that he didn't need to. 
The male to cover a knight from head to toe required about two hundred. Holy shit! High status okay, knights would have had their male thought. edged with gold, but most importantly, it had to be functional. Clad in mail with his shield and helmet, the knight was well equipped to face the weapons of the day. 25 kilos? You know what I always found hilarious, by the way? And so stupid? Like, I'm not a medieval expert, right? But when I see, like, movies, like Hollywood movies, and there's a guy that's like a knight with full armor starts rolling around and then dual wields a two-handed sword and i'm just like you know they're like they take a two hand like two-handed sword is massive you know and they're like dual wielding and i'm just like bro that shit's like 60 kilos on you if not 80. you can't even fucking roll over you can't even get up Knights were actually more mobile. I'm not talking about mobility. I'm talking about these guys. This guy's like tumbling around, fucking jumping through the hoops, jumping off horses. You can't. Kilograms were a lot lighter back in the day. Yeah, that's what it's all about. I don't know. I'm enjoying the campaign so far. Had resolved their long feud over Normandy, with King Henry wresting possession away from his brother. But the French king Louis VI would not accept Henry's heir as the future Duke of Normandy. Henry's fragile power would face its first test, an invasion by the French king. <laughs> the Battle of Bremul. Bremul. Is that a good pronunciation? All right, let's go. In the disputed countryside between Normandy and France, Bremoul. a smouldering farmstead gave away the beginnings of a French invasion. What's the city called? Or the battle? At the head of the vast army stood King Louis of France himself. Bremoul. An English scout hastily rode to inform King Henry of England, who was still en route to defend his borders. Hearing of the threat, Villagers and guards fled their English held towns and retreated to the stronghold of Fleury. Holy shit. Ooh. Okay. I'm just going to say I've read a lot about hate for the campaign. I really like the videos in between that are like educational and well well made i don't know if they made them or we're just watching a youtube video but i'm liking it so far and the fact i think this is the mission where we've seen in other rts games where you gotta hold off the opponents but you can't really hold them off right they have too many units so so far i'm loving it hate the campaign is awesome dude i've heard a lot of molding about campaign that it's shit Above all, the English forces in Normandy had been commanded to hold the town of Fleury and await King Henry's arrival. Do you have TC here? No. Nope. I'm making a monk. I don't know if I need it. What is this? This is like the fucking Reddit gold mine right here. Yeah, what can I make? I can make a keep. Do I have a mill here? I'm trying to see what I can evacuate. As the village of Crescentville fell, all English hopes lay in holding Fleury for the king's arrival. Fuck, I didn't see how big the army is actually. No! 
Okay, that's a big fucking army. <laughs> okay, I gotta run. Yeah, that is a big army, boys. Yeah, yeah. On Buddha. Eat your will. Hestas come in. What's that? You hate that? What's far in the new? The town of Granville succumbed to the French, and the English were pushed back towards Fleury. Forward here. Yeah, yeah. Go, go. I sure have been pushed back, Ritter. I thought this was gonna be like that Warcraft 3 mission, you know, where it's like, ooh, back and forth. Turns out, uh, no. Wait, shit. Open up! On Muna, cometh honor. Oh shit, they're actually coming, Monkers. What is a small army? Oh, that's it? Oh, there's gold. Oh, shit. Wait, so what am I Oh shit, it feels around. Okay, you guys ready for a little switcheroo? Chilling. Wait, so when is Henry arriving? Oh. At last, 
King Henry and his forces made their arrival at Flory. Finally! Okay, you guys ready? Knowing that King Louis himself was on the field, Henry saw his chance to put England's claim to Normandy beyond doubt. Yoink! 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 Later, bitch! Push the French out. Okay. Greenville, Crescentville, King Louisville. Guys, do I go full toxic approach or? I think I do. Type one if you want me to be toxic as hell. Now remember, you wanted me to be toxic here. Not, I did not want this. I can probably push the first city, I would assume. Like, this probably has nothing. I just go kill it quickly, like, quick in and out. You know, just rinse it. Get in, get out kind of thing. Boom, 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 bam, bam, thank you, man, kind of thing, you know? What do you mean I'm gonna get wrecked, bro? I'm gonna get in there and just beat his ass. Yes, sir. West to Dude, there's like 10 units here, guys. You guys are clowning. King Louis, determined to oust the English from Normandy, began sending attack parties to harass King Henry and his forces. Wait, am I King Henry? Oh. I can beat that, right? For sure, dude, I can beat that. This, you call this an army king cringe? King cringy? Yeah, he really harassed me there, guys. This was really hard. I want to keep my age up for now. I got bigger plans. This guy's dead, he's got no units. Boom! 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 Easy, dude. Saving King Henry's him. men struck at the French forces and recaptured the town. That's the end they would 
You guys said this was difficult, dude. Come on. Yaru to work. Sure, lass. Your way of life. Eat your sailor. Yes, sir. Look at your wish, shall lay the yard. Hestus, come in. On Caressa. Look at your wish. Wait, what the fuck? On Caressa. Can he get it? Or where the hit? Yeah. You have to be ready for him. You die. Number done. It is young on Caressa. No, to Hester's commander. So not. It will a do hit. Beth, the two. Oh, here I'm from. Yeah, Buddha. All the Canadians, young. Yeah, the Oba. A gate of young honor. What kind of. Ah, somehow I don't think it's going to be done in time. King Louis is cringe. You shouldn't be called King Louis. Cringe Louis. Try with that, you know. This is your army. Dude, I can just let the landmark kill him. Look at this. <laughs> Increases the melee and ranged armor of men at arms. We don't need that. We don't need any of that. Let me get some upgrades going. We get that. Get that, get that, get that. Definitely need that. Need that, need that. Boiling oil. Fuck yeah. Well, archers get plus two attack range? What? What? 
Dude, look how many- 20 villagers? Free nerf? Down to scouts, Jesus. Okay, you guys want a toxic? That scout still attacking me. What? With the border towns recaptured. Oh, King there's there's Norman stables there. Faced only one more obstacle. King Louis and his army. King Pepega. Hey, I'm about to. In the humble peasants' fields of Bremule, two kings would settle their claim to Normandy. Yeah, I'm gonna settle claim. I'm about to take that shit. Like candy from a Pepega. Tommy does, Tommy does, Tommy does, Tommy does. Get it the shot to focus to a thing. Here, Hestes, dress at Yao Arthur. Do I have this? I get to serve. And don't need that. Hestes, what they are, man. But he's counterattacking, bro. Wait, I'm not ready. Every charm and seek the seat they to bear an Uten. What they hearken us all are. Yeah, as the obesians, each guard's way. Oh, it's gonna be an actual attack. Yes. 
Dating the AI. King Louis about to whine on Reddit. <laughs> Toon folk already ready. Yeah. You'll then do that right to know. Hestes and Bale sleepily. Hold the steer. Bale hitting. First head to end the went down holy shit dude that keep went down ah! they, they're not attacking the king From home, but rallied by their king, the English army forced a French surrender and put King Louis and his knights to flight. Yeah, imagine, imagine in real life, King goes like that. Woo -hoo! Defending and resounding <laughs> victory for the English, King Henry had secured his ancestral lands under the English crown. <laughs> Beautiful played by me. Thank you. Oh, a little bird, bird video? Norman domination over England was marked by their imposing castles and new laws. But one passion of theirs also impacted the land. Hunting. <gasps> Damn. Is there Norman a chicken? Nobility, both men and women, <laughs> Shared a love of hunting <laughs> and birds clip. of prey. <laughs> to preserve their hunting grounds, they took ownership of the land and outlawed hunting by commoners. Falcons hunt Is there a by chicken? flying to a great height, then dive bombing their prey. They are kept hunting fit using a lure, a pad of leather with bait attached. This prepared them for catching their prey. Usually other birds such as rooks and pheasants. I thought it said peasants. I was like, God damn. While out hunting, a falcon might give chase to its prey far from the party. So, riders would follow them cross country on horseback to witness the action. After a falcon had caught its prey, it was fed. Vegans look and away. Did not fly again that day. This meant many birds had to be taken on a hunt to keep the nobility entertained. Rather than falcons being carried on horseback, which would jostle them, they were transported on a frame called a cadge. Cadge? That's the brother of Saj. Although falconry was a horseman's sport, it comes from the same word. Was enjoyed on foot. Hawks, unlike falcons, have broad wings and hunt by following their prey in straight flight, often low to the ground, through woodland. That's catch.
Hunting by sight, a falcon's vision is highly developed. When not hunting, they were kept calm by putting on a leather hood. <laughs> the darkness stopped them becoming overstimulated and restless. <laughs> they look like... Lords of the sky, <laughs> controlled by the Lords of they the They look land. like those fucking bombers from Falcons World War II, the aviation, you know? And status. They were central to Norman identity. Okay, poggers.